Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome on this uh, lovely oh, Tuesday. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Good to see you, Ben. There you go, Ben. Put a couple of little watch lists out there. Good to see you, Ben. Thanks for sharing that. Good to see you, Mike, Chuck, John, Boone, Lita, Mark, Ken, everyone. Casey. All right, guys. So uh, a lot of stuff that's going on right now in the market. We got this big one that just came from absolutely nowhere. This NVCN trade that's making a I mean, things just popped uh, literally from 390 to, to 480. We'll go back and check it out. Uh, but before we do that, you know, we always want to go over what's moving and what is going on uh, for this week. It is going to be a busy week because this is that time of the year, everybody. Actually, that time of the month where we, get, we have all the classes that we're going to be running and uh, we need to get ready because this is the best time to learn. All right, so what, what is moving and what happened yesterday? Let's start off with the CRZO trade. So the CRZO, oops, CRZO. There we go. So CRZO had a really, really uh, nice, nice big move right there. Hold on, let me just fix so you can see the whole full thing here. Okay. Stock right there went from 1180 all the way down to about 1080. Uh, the stock for some of you, I know it was on everyone's short list, but it was on several of you guys out there. And that one just had a really nice little tank right at the open. Not, not the greatest window, great short at the open, and then bounced right after that. What was nice about this one right here is that if you notice, there was a nice little Fausto flag right there. And uh, once it broke out of that 1070, thing ran to about, you know, 11, 11, 10, which is pretty you know, pretty nice. Not bad. You know, not a huge winner, but, you know, it was a nice little day's pay. Um, one stock that was really, really cool was this one right here. And uh, let me fix so you can see the, the ticks a little bit better. All right. So this stock just literally gapped up. Uh, let me just go. I always like to zoom a little bit better. So you had this one right here. had a really nice pop uh, right in pre-market. Thing just went from $5.50 all the way up to about $7, all the way up to 8 It was pretty volatile. Um, it, it, you could see from the ticks, the stock ha had some big, big spikes. But listen, the thing is this. You can't go broke taking a profit because when you look right here, almost right at you know past 3.30, thing just fell out of bed, just totally tanked. So listen. The thing is this, when you make your day's pay, I know some of you guys, we were talking about this yesterday. If you made your money, sometimes you're done in pre-market. I know that there are a lot of people out there who just maybe just would like just to do that. Uh, don't want to be stuck at a computer all day. Listen, you can still make money over the course of the day, but you can also give it back. If you meet your goals, just take it and walk away. So that one, I just wanted to bring that up because I want you guys to be careful. There are time is time and time uh, when we trade some stocks and they just totally, uh, you know, we got cocky and greedy. I tell everybody this. I know here at Cybertrain University, we could teach you how to make money. That's not the problem. It's like the diet. You follow the diet, you'll lose weight. You know, when you fall off the diet, you keep going to McDonald's without telling me or, you know, you're eating mom's uh, nice uh, chocolate chip cookies at night or maybe, you know, making a nice little Sunday, whatever it is. It's not going to work out for you. Uh, trading. Bit worst thing about – and now when you compare that to trading, why people fail, greed. I can't help when you get cocky and greedy, and uh, that's one of the biggest issues. But finding these 100%, 200% movers – they're there all the time. So let's go through that watch list really quick because we got a couple of them stock. Not too many, which is not shockingly because it is the summer. Uh, we got this NVCN trade. You could see thing got pretty damn volatile all of a sudden. Um, Stock right here, you could see it last year. The stock was all the way up in the $100 price range. It's at $3. I don't know, maybe we're getting a little bit of a dead cat bounce right here. Who knows, but the stock is pretty volatile. I'd give it a, probably a phase a level three. You got some good iceberg orders out there. No, nothing substantial, but, uh, you know, uh, maybe not. I'm not too crazy. Uh, there you go. You got a 2300 right now just popping over there at three, three, uh, 415. IMRN. This one, we this is the one we called out a little bit earlier this morning. I kind of like this one a little bit better. It's kind of making higher highs. Had a nice little spike right there, a little past seven. It backed off a little bit. Um, 1.3 million shares already traded. We got a nice little 20,000. That's right, 20,000 share buyer at 634. So we got some really nice supports and resistance levels right there. Listen, you know, the tip of the day I want to give everybody is this. Stop buying at market orders, okay? Let the stock come to you. 
don't go always there out there and chase the stock it's okay to chase it on one side but try to sell on the other side so if you're gonna buy a market at least get minimum one limit order out there don't worry about it the stock is not going up you know they don't trade in straight lines they go up they go down but it stinks when you own a stock at a bad price. It really, really hurts. All right, so next one we have on this one right here is GSUM. There's another one that popped up on the radar right here. Another little cheapy right here. Uh, 44,000 shares up 19%. Spreads a little bit big. Got some decent volume orders out there. Looks like she backed off uh, early this morning, being up close to that 350. But she's holding here pretty strong. This one's not terrible. And uh, the last one I got is the BPTH. So uh, everybody remembers this stock. This stock, who made money on this stock, guys? Remember this one right here? How amazing was this stock right here? Everybody remember this back in, uh, what was this, in, in March? It ran from like $5 up to $70. John, you remember that? Bone says yes. Oh, my God. That was like, uh, you know what? When I see these things come out of the blue, and knowing that it's not really the tradest right now, but knowing that I'm like, you know what? Could this do it again? It sure could. And if you don't believe me, what happened with the uh, the CEI trade, right? Remember CEI? That one did it. Actually, that's a bad example, you know, on the long-term chart. Uh, but let me see if I can fix this, make it be a little bit better. It's not good, but 60 minute. Yeah, there we go. So we remember this one when it ran from like $3 up to nine, backed off, went to three. And a couple of days ago, we killed it, went right back up to five. So listen, they when I see those things, I'm like, hmm, could it happen again? Well, there's only one way to figure it out. Go back to your day, your journals. See how you traded it last time. See how it worked out. So put that little sleeper in your little cutty over there, and uh, we're going to keep an eye on that. Put it on your t on your ticker. All right. Now, um, anything I'm missing I did not call out, guys? Any other stocks out there? Not a big list. Not shockingly, I know we're going to be going into earnings seasons coming in soon, so there'll be a nice little list coming up a little bit more. But you know, we always find things that open up when the market opens up. All right. Um, all right. Just to, so we got that. Now, remember, everyone, today, I mean, we got a lot of things that are going on uh, here at Cybertrain University to just give you a heads up on that today. You know, obviously, being Tuesday, we have traders talk. So everyone knows this is where we get your Q&A's answered, you know, being in the cyber group room. Um, there's a very big event I'm going to be doing on Wealth365. So if you have not registered yet, go out there and register for it. And then uh, and then we have the new classes that are starting as of the 16th, which is also today, going into tomorrow. And then we got phase two, 18th and 19th. And then uh, we're going to be doing the phase three the following week. All right, guys. So we got a lot a lot of classes coming up. Remember what I told you yesterday? The most important part of trading when it, um, is, is learning. And there's no better time to learning than in the summer times. All right. So uh, with that said, guys, I think we're pretty much done, and we'll see you in class. If you want to know more about the classes and how to get into them, make sure you talk to your education advisor, all right? And then hopefully all you new trial members here um, that joined us this Monday, hopefully you had, so, uh, had a lot of fun and been watching your videos and talk to your, your, uh, your education advisor so he lets you know what to expect. And then uh, and then anything else, like I tell all my traders, see something, say something. All right, guys, good luck, happy trading, and uh, we'll see you uh, in classes and in Traders Talk. Good luck, everyone.